Welcome to our second episode of How to Reinvent. I'm Jill, and I'm the content strategist and manager for Reinvent. And I'm Annie, I'm head of creative and customer experiences for our global events team. So Jill, welcome back. Thank you, welcome back to you. Second episode, which our title is Breakout Content Secret Sauce. Oh, that sounds fun. I know, it's gonna be very exciting. We'll get to share with everybody um, some really cool details of our breakout content and how to best experience it at reInvent. So that's exciting. Yeah, we're, we're really happy to be here. We're doing these yep. monthly. Um, so we uh, have a variety of topics that we're gonna cover every month uh, and really make sure that our customers are ready to uh, enjoy reInvent and get the most yep. out of it. Yep. So we had our first episode last month. Mm -hmm. What did we cover in that episode, Jill? So we gave an overview of what people can expect on a day-to-day -day basis, which you can also find on the website, on the agenda tab. Um, and of course, everything kicks off on Sunday evening with Midnight Madness. And then we also gave people an update on some of the really great improvements we're making this year with our transportation system, mm -hmm. reserved seating. And then we really kind of dove deep on content around campus. And we've had some questions about that. So we'll kind of review it again. Um, last year, we had kind of this very prescriptive, if you wanted to see databases sessions, you had to go to the Venetian. And if you wanted to see machine learning, you had to go to the ARIA. Uh, what we found was that that was difficult logistically for our customers to navigate. So in order to make things easier and better for our customers, this year we're taking this everything is everywhere approach. Um, so you can see uh, sessions on uh, databases and machine learning at the Bellagio and at the Venetian and at the Aria and at all venues where we're having breakout content. Um, and then we will be repeating those most popular sessions across the entire campus. So you will have more than one opportunity to see um, the session that, that's most important to you, so you can be sure to get into it. And then we'll also have our overflow strategy where we are overflowing all of our popular sessions across the entire campus. So if you're in the ARIA, you wanna see something that's happening at the Venetian, chances are it's being overflowed into the ARIA and you just go to that room and you can see that session. Great, yeah. so I've been getting a lot of questions from customers about what hotel they should stay at, but it sounds like it really doesn't matter, nope. and they can just pick what hotel they like and, and stay there. Um, the other thing that is great this year is that we really have two zones of hotels. Mm -hmm. um, we have the, the north end of the campus, which is, of course, the Venetian and Palazzo, um, the Mirage, and then the Wind Encore, yep. and that zone is very walkable. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, to get from point A to point B, very easy to just get around via mm -hmm. walking. And then we have the south end of the campus too. So we've got MGM, we've got Aria, Bellagio yep. and Vidara. So that end of the campus is also very walkable. Yep. So the great thing is, is that this year, really um, for uh, the vast majority of content, if you stay at the north end or the south end, chances are you can probably actually walk to the session that you want to see. Exactly. Yeah, yep. that's great. Yeah. Um, and then also last week, we kind of talked about some of our evening activities, but we have a ton of other activities going on. Well, you want to give us an overview? Sure. Yeah, um, we talked about chicken wing eating and we talked about replay, yep. Midnight Madness last time. And of course, not everyone is really into those. So there sure. are a ton of other things that we do. Um, we did talk about the run and I always never uh, miss an opportunity to talk about the, I'll the run. I'll miss that opportunity. Uh, so we've got, me. we've got the 4K and the 8K and both of those runs, the great thing about those is that um, the proceeds of those runs yeah. have always gone to um, charity. Uh, they benefit Girls Who Code. Yep. Um, AWS has a long-standing relationship with Girls Who Code, so we're really proud of our runners who not only are out there early um, running during reInvent, um, but also raising money for Girls Who Code. Yep. Um, but there's also a ton of other things that we do. Um, we uh, always have Lego activities. Mm -hmm. So last year at the Aria, you could build uh, little Lego cars. Um, this year, knowing our attendees, it's gonna be uh, some other crazy thing. Mm -hmm. little Lego seven-masted schooners. <laughs> um, the, attendees are really uh, passionate about yeah. their Legos, so yeah. I'm sure someone out there is working on their Lego schooner pattern, <laughs> and we'll be bringing that with them to reInvent. I hope so. Um, but, you know, we also have other ways for attendees to be social and network and meet other attendees, um, even in the middle of the day. So yeah. um, some years we've had batting cages. Um, we had the mechanical bull cat, which I don't know if you've seen that footage of me riding the mechanical bull cat. Um, I'm not sure I, I'm not sure I made it all the way around. I mean, there's I, not I think much I to sort see. Of slid. It was like two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true, uh, but attendees did love it, and I actually did see a couple people who were pretty really amazing on that it. thing. Right. Um, but we always have something sort of quirky and unexpected yeah. to do. Um, we've got board game night, which yes. is happening this year. Um, another thing that we're doing is, we, you know, because reInvent can kind of be a little bit crazy and not everyone is really... Um, 
into some of the sort of louder activities. Mm -hmm. There's also other ways that you can recharge and enjoy yourself at reInvent. Yep. Um, we're adding yoga. So I know you yes. are a certified yoga teacher. I am. Um, I we'll think, be teaching at reInvent. Yeah, yes, a little bit busy. Obviously. Um, but we'll make sure we have a great teacher. Yeah, and so we'll be adding things like that. Uh, we um, are adding um, potentially a ping pong tournament. Yep. So there's a lot of fun things you can do. And then the partners in the expo also always have a fun set of things to do. Um, last year, I was able to meet um, Lieutenant Commander Data from Star <laughs> Trek Next Gen. Nerd alert. Yeah, I got my photo with him. <laughs> um, I think he was a little worried about how, what a fangirl I was. Um, but, you know, there's always fun things to yeah. do in the Partner Expo or over at ARIA and Builders Fair. So um, there's a ton of ways, and you and I are really passionate about this. There's a ton yeah. of ways to find your community yes. at reInvent. It's, yes. it's, you know, it can be a little bit overwhelming, yep. especially if you don't come with a big group yep. um, to find your community yep. at reInvent. And so we're doing a lot this year to uh, help you to connect. Yes, exactly. So if you missed our first episode, we uh, have made that available on our How to Reinvent page, which is on the AWS reInvent homepage. So you just go to the info tab and then you can watch the recording there. Yep, very important. And of course, people come to reInvent for content. Huge deal. Yep. Um, and so let's take a little sneak peek at the different ways you can learn at reInvent. Great. Well, we have our special guest here. So, Drew, welcome to How to Reinvent. Why don't you introduce yourself and tell the audience about what you do? Thanks, you guys. So, I'm Drew Meyer, and my team takes care of product marketing for the storage portfolio here at AWS. So, what that really means is we're <laughs> educators. We're trying to help people draw the connections between what we build and how you can use that in the real world. Very, right. very cool. So, this is the time of year when you and I uh, work and work together a lot and talk to each other. Uh, via multiple channels uh, all day, every day. Yeah. So text message, yeah. email, chime, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, so, and, and really we do that because uh, we're working on building the content and the strategy behind it. So um, give us kind of some information on the thought process and the strategy of, of reInvent content. Because you've been doing, you've been a track owner for how many years? This is the third year. Awesome, yeah. that's very cool. So we start right now engaging with customers, digging through our beta testers, through our customer reference uh, archives, through any place that we can talk to people who are really using this, to find good references and good examples of how things are working in the real world. We build that into sessions that, are, that can be either a deep dive on a new feature or an announcement, or a, a deep dive on an entire service, or built together with other services to talk about how a solution operates in real life. So the, the most challenging thing for us is finding those folks and then understanding their stories so that we can relay it and put together the content and get it done on time and deal with the substitutions <laughs> and the last minute adjustments. <laughs> yep, all that fun stuff. Midnight cha yeah, <laughs> yeah. changes. Yeah. Um, so Drew, it sounds like uh, customer stories are really a critical part of your content strategy. Uh, that's a little different, I think, than a lot of other conferences and one of the things I think we're most proud of. But just talk to us a little bit what, about that philosophy for you guys. What customers consistently tell us, and what I find myself as well, is I don't want to hear from a vendor about how great their product is. I want to hear from someone who's lived it, who's been in the trenches, who's building this in real life. And many times, warts and all, what experiences have they had? What mistakes did they make? What did they learn? So it's critical to us to have real life customers who have done this in real life, not just on paper, but have actually lived through it, telling their stories on stage live in front of our, our customers who then ha have an engagement and, and can ask questions. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And those conversations continue whether you know folks are in line or at the pub crawl or throughout yeah. the week. Um, those conversations are happening, um, both you know hearing from speakers, but also hearing from attendees. And that's one of the things that makes reInvent great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the sparks that happen in the conversations and yeah. the, the pace at which you can develop and move and get there faster, that's what this is all about. Yeah, yeah. cool. Uh, so, give us a sneak peek into what kind of storage content we get to have this year. Yeah. Okay, so 
I can tell you that we're going to be talking about cutting edge, the newest and greatest applications that people are building. Things like data lakes and analytics. How do I process massive quantities of data through IoT applications or analytics applications? Um, and then maybe the boring but important stuff that's a little mm -hmm. less sexy but yep. super critical, like backup and recovery, backup and restore, disaster recovery. Um, using people like Airbnb who have built this or FINRA or Theory Studios was an example from last year where they built a disaster recovery solution just before they were hit by a hurricane in Florida and sure enough, their stuff kept running. They kept cool. rendering the scenes for Man in the High Castle yeah. without any downtime. That's awesome. So uh, another thing that we have realized that has really informed our content strategy this year, especially at reInvent, is that customers don't experience content or experience our services just by one topic, right? So they need to know what type of storage they want to use along with what type of database and, you know, how, like, what maybe machine learning will play in that. And our customers really care about building the right solution for themselves. So talk a little bit about how they can kind of experience that at reInvent and um, and how that really informs what we're doing. So we design for several audiences. Okay. So I have customers who are coming that this is their third or fourth reInvent mm -hmm. and they have a pretty good grasp on what's going on in AWS and their challenge is to keep up. Mm -hmm. And then I also have people who have never been before and this is their first time and they've been charged with figuring out their cloud migration in their organization. So we offer content to fit both. We offer the deep dives to go in and get all the knobs and speeds and feeds and hear on the latest features. And we also offer the intros. How do I consider the storage portfolio and what is right for what and which use cases are common and what applications fit where? Um, one of my biggest challenges in, in the State of the Union address, everybody wants to hear that yeah. amongst all these levels. So how yeah. do I solve for that problem? And yeah. I guess Customers will tell us how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. Um, and then really, and I think this is going to be the most important question you answer for the customers today. Okay. Um, how, wh what is the best way for them to experience content at reInvent? What is your best piece of advice on how to, you know, navigate all the content and decide what's best and how to get there? So figure out which services are really going to be core to your efforts and go to those deep dive sessions. Get, use this event to leverage someone else's experience to get you there faster. If you're a developer or an architect, what are your next big projects? Come and find someone who's been through something similar. Storage examples in my case are things like, like we talked about data lakes, disaster recovery, archives, regulatory compliance increasingly. Or if you're an infrastructure professional, if your job is dealing with storage every day, Figure out how your current world is going to map to a future cloud world to understand what if you re-architect and you're going to move to object storage? What does that mean? What if you're going to lift and shift some applications using existing platforms? Um, how do I support someone's existing application? How do I make sure that it's secure? How do I make sure that it keeps running all around the world? Those kinds of things. So we're designing for those audiences. So find something that's relevant to you and pick those sessions and design around that. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, it, it definitely does. Good advice. One of the questions that we're asking all of our guests who join us on how to reinvent is their tips and tricks for how to survive the week. So you've been to several reinvents. What are your tips and tricks for getting through the week? So for me, I never know where I'm going to end up. It's either late at night at a dinner with an analyst or in the middle of the night at a, a launch event or during the day I have to change sessions and go help somebody out. So it's critical that I have everything with me that I need. So I'm independent. So I've got my chargers, I've got my backpack, got my notebook, got paper and pencil. Got all the stuff that I might need to cover the cover the basis during the event. Uh, Annie, what about you? Uh, so I like to think of the entire week as kind of a marathon. Um, it's very easy to uh, burn yourself out. There's so many things happening. So um, obviously the week starts with midnight madness, and that ends up being a late night. Um, but I also try to pencil in some evenings where I end early, I duck out, um, I make sure that I get a full night's sleep. Um, but for me, reInvent is one of those times a year where I see some people who I don't get to see anymore, mm -hmm. uh, some folks who work at our partners or other AWS colleagues. Um, and so I make sure that I, I, I dedicate some time to keeping those connections going, building my network, um, and really making sure that I'm uh, keeping those connections going throughout the week. Um, but also making sure that I'm pacing myself so that I make it to Thursday night's uh, replay party because you know because you don't you don't want to be tired on Thursday night for replay. No, and you also don't want to be tired for Friday content because that's the most important thing. <laughs> that's yeah, right. That is true. <laughs>
Uh, so Jill, what about you? What are, what are your tri tricks? Uh, so I'm all about that zen life. So I bring my travel yoga mat and my yoga clothes and I do a little yoga every morning in my room. Yeah, I noticed last year you were very um, at one with reInvent yes. uh, throughout the week. So um, was. now I know your trick. <laughs> uh, well, Drew, thanks for joining yeah. us. We're really excited awesome. to have you. Um, we hope to see everyone back here next month. Yep, cool. Thanks. Thanks, bye.